Thanks, Thanks for being with me, Katie. <laughs> Thanks for Take being it away with me. whenever you're ready. <laughs>
this next tune, I do one slight tuning. And the name of this song is called Titanic. Inspired by a book called Revolution.
Folks, we had to retune that one because we just hit it so hard. Sorry. stupid grin is so tired it's very clear what you want you really think you've got to shine come on baby don't get me I'm the best you never had Don't you know It took some time to really get to know the world He's out Alone. You know I did get this warm up. I don't need ya. Just move along. tuned in to 91.3 KXCI Tucson. My name is Sophie Gibson Rush. I am here live in Studio 2A with Katie Haverly ahead of her new album. She is joined by three most excellent friends. So guys, first, let's just introduce who the, the group is here tonight. So tonight on those drums, we have Mr. Tom Beach. Yes. On that bass guitar, we have Mr. Chris Pierce. That's me. Deep Greasy. On the electric guitar tonight, we have Mr. Ben Nisbet. 
And on the acoustic guitar and vocals and later piano, Miss Katie Haverly. (laughs) It's so good to have you, Katie. What's new? Um, I think I've used Instagram more today than I've ever had in my whole life. (laughs) I'm trying. I'm trying to evolve. That's great. I mean, it's like a really hard instinct to... To make feel natural. Yes, and yeah. I'm such a private person, it's hard for me, so I'm yeah. working on it. So what were you Instagramming today? <sighs> so Cats. I released a video Cats. today. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. And it was very exciting. Yeah. Well, should we just start off by talking about the video? I feel yeah. Like, why um, not? Today's why the not? day. <laughs> so we got to make a, a really beautiful video with a collaboration of so many other artists. Mm-hmm. It was such a incredible experience and big kudos to monsoon collective for letting us shoot in their amazing space with so many incredible artists um that let us like work in their installations it was very generous and very kind and i i'm very grateful for them wow is that the first music video to shoot there i don't know actually that's spectacular it was amazing though yeah i didn't know that 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 had ever happened before congratulations oh thanks that's so cool um so you worked with daniel martin diaz and leslie wood to put this together yes who have a very strong clear aesthetic (laughs) yes very dark very kind of surreal did what did you bring to their aesthetic. So I think I actually picked them to do this song because mm-hmm. it felt like the right song for them. Yeah. Um, I think we we started, we've been brainstorming for a while and the, the idea evolved over time. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the ideas for the costumes really helped us figure out the rest of it. Um, and that was kind of just a brainstorming me and Leslie and Daniel are having one day and just coming up with ideas. And Leslie had such a, a major role in the art direction of this project yeah. and her vision and... Um, she was incredible. Yeah, so I've been thinking about the video all day since I saw it, which is great. It's a great <laughs> sign. Awesome. Um, but I I keep thinking about all the different costumes you wear, and I was wondering whether those are different characters or different symbols. Does that make sense? Like, I think it does, and I don't know if our listeners want me to reveal my secrets. What do you guys think? Mm-hmm. Do it. <laughs> a magician never <laughs> I think I think the video it can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people and mm-hmm. with with something like this one I don't want to say what my intention is because I don't want to detract from someone else's experience. Um, but I do think you know there's lots of dimensions to ourselves. Mm-hmm that we can explore. Katie Haverly's Rorschach test. <laughs> we should out today. We should mention Emily Marchand for. Make, the amazing costumes. Making, oh, wow. She's the costume designer. Yeah. 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 They are truly spectacular and transformative, and they have, like, such a role in the music video as themselves. Yeah. I just made up a new weird pronunciation of her name just now. That was, that was really <laughs> strange. And, <laughs> anyone have a correction? Please, please send it to Sophie. <laughs> We'll say it next week on the air. <laughs> so, uh, what was the song? That the, what's the song called? That the music Wreckage. Video? We're going to play it next, too. Oh, cool. So, it's a great segue. But Great. Um, and that kind of leads me to my next thought, which we'll talk much more about the new album. But it seems like with this music video, with I was just you know reading the song titles, looking through the stuff, you've taken a little bit of a darker turn. Um, yeah, I think at, so. Yeah, I and, think it's reflective of our time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe that means I'm doing a good job reflecting back <laughs> to mm. humankind what I'm experiencing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so that was was that um, something that you planned on before you wrote the album, or no. did you write the album? And I think I these songs I wrote to I always write to process my human experience and help mm-hmm. me deal with it, and they are just sort of remnants of what we've been experiencing in the last year and a half and my personal life and our political world and our with our environment and you know all of those different elements I think led up to a lot of these songs being written yeah yeah I've always felt that and not to me too much of a suck up Katie but <laughs> you are exceptionally good at uh, taking any um, emotional experiencing experience and turning it into energy Awesome. Um, and I was wondering if there was any uh, like uh, emotional experience that s- sparked this album 
And is it is there anything that's more specific than just the experience of our times? I think or? I think the hold on one second. I'm gonna switch yeah. Can you not hear me? I can hear me. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's like a it's, it's like a short. You want to pop an ear out? Yeah. So yeah. anyway, the the album title came from a song that I wrote when I was on sort of a writing retreat in Silver City, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I'd never done that for myself before to like honor my time as a songwriter to, you know, spend time sitting and writing. So I went away for four days into a cabin in the woods. And this is Pluto is a song that came out. We'll be playing it later. But it it was it for three days. It was a different song. And then it was finally a totally different song on the fourth day. It was really interesting, the evolution of that song. And I felt like it had to come out in that way, like these different layers. And then it finally emerged. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. And just before we hop back in, I just want to say I, <coughs> I was reading this article that was written by Catherine Birch about you today. It's a beautiful article. Um, and one of your quotes from the article is, we live in a delicate balance, which I thought was really beautiful paired with the darkness of this album because <coughs> there's a certain, like, I think it's beautiful to think of something that's kind of as heavy or, uh, you know, has so much gravitas as darkness as something that's delicate. I agree. And um, I think, even the experience of like making this video, doing this big collaborative art work together with all these different people in our community is the counter to the darkness, mm -hmm. making art and music and creating and, and trying to understand our experience from that vantage point is the hope for me yeah. and doing it with people in my community that I love and respect. You know? Yeah. I'm so glad those headphones are back on. I know. Yay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to play wreckage, wreckage next, which this is the song. Oh, no. Pluto is the song you wrote in Silver City. Yeah. yeah. Pluto wreckage, is the Wreckage one. is the song for the video. The song from the video is Wreckage. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Take it away whenever you're ready. <laughs> that you said the words and colors flush and dissonant I can't erase the sun behind the stars that said hello and broke apart the dark I can't explain the pictures that I see that live down deep of you of me there is a hollow that nobody knows just like the tree in elementary school tucked away shiny hole small can tell if they're bullets or diamonds i can't raise a crack that you made So I'm just gonna hold on, hold on, no rash decisions, I'm just gonna hold on, hold on, run from the visions, just got to go. Sharpening the edge 
of what's revealed in the aftermath. To cut the road that you lightly set between our bodies like a softness. I can't forgive the sins of my hands, at least not yet. Thank you, Duncan, and guys, that was amazing. <laughs> it's great. These guys at KXC, I know what they're doing. They know how to help a gal out. All right, you guys ready? This is called Lucid.
now for something very different. Sophie, thank you again so much for having us here tonight. I'm having a blast. What beautiful eyes you have The light entangled in them Like stars I knew But didn't know the name What a beautiful smile you have The way you make them all feel like this Like lamps that finally feel warmth On the shades It doesn't take much It doesn't take much Dresses you make me buy Just so I can catch your eye A blushing lilac Dripping off the vine What sounds you hear me What oceans we smell and taste No matter what I used to be I'm not mad It doesn't take much It doesn't take much
You're tuned into 91.3 KXCI Tucson. This is Locals Only. My name is Sophie Gibson Rush, and you are listening to Katie Haverly live in Studio 2A. My gosh, it is such a privilege to have you all here. Thanks for coming Thank by. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. No, I'm blushing. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about the recording process of the most recent album, Pluto. Yes. Um, so you, as many, many people do, had a kind of a bad experience with a Kickstarter campaign. Yes. And then and then something else came along, right? Yeah. After, what happened After there? that happened, I kind of put a call out to people that had donated to the Kickstarter and I said, well, if you still want to give me your money, I'll find a way. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't want you to feel bad because you can't give me your money anymore, right? So I just set up a place where people could donate, and then I raised about $3,500 that way. That's incredible. And then I um, I did a solo tour through California um, a couple months ago, and that helped cover mm. the rest. So it was, and it was a beautiful thing to do to go and play these shows. I'd never, like, I haven't done a solo tour since I was, like, 20 years old, so it was really cool. Yeah, where did you go? I went to um, Los Angeles uh -huh. and uh, Santa Barbara and Petaluma and San Francisco. And was this solo, solo? Like just oh, no, you? Palo Alto. Yeah, just solo. Wow. And then I, I just can't imagine that. I mean, I, I know plenty of musicians who have done it, but like, <clears throat> did you did you feel lonely? Did you feel freed? Did you feel? I felt. I felt great. That's I, love, awesome. I don't know. I love being alone. I love alone time. Yeah. It's good for me. It's when I think, like I started, write, when I drive, I write songs a lot. I'll start singing in the car and then I'll surreptitiously, you know, push record on my phone so mm -hmm. I can capture it. Um, but driving a lot is really good for my songwriting, actually. Yeah. There's something that sounds very exotic about touring alone. As it a musician, because it's thought of as such like a kind of like a communal experience where you all... And you get to eat what you want every <laughs> yeah, day. exactly. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're just not sharing six other people's germs yes. all the time. <laughs> anyway, so how did you connect with Gabe Sullivan at Dustin Stone? So I, um... Well, this was... Ben was playing in Crystal Radio's band when they were releasing their last CD, and I saw their CD release show at Congress, and I just remember... I just remember seeing him on stage and the way he was playing with them and the care and love he helped prepare that show and the record was so amazing. I just felt like I could see he's a very dedicated and genuine producer and someone that I felt like I could work with and so like that moment like sealed it for me just watching him create that record with them and how they performed. Yeah. And then he you did something <coughs> together that's a little different than something you had ever done which is bring in session musicians right and then you gave them the the song on the day that they were supposed to record yes. and they're getting this well ben do you want to talk about this yeah yeah it was a trip actually i've never done anything like that either uh we had basically four days to do basic tracks um obviously katie and i have been <laughs> playing these songs together for some time but then to integrate uh, a, a rhythm section and then occasionally another guitar player or something like that Gabe or Connor Gallagher who both played on the record was was really interesting to see how okay let's talk through the song see how it goes alright let's play it once that was pretty good let's play it maybe one more time or maybe one more and that's it we got it and a large number of the material on the record that you hear is really truly recorded live in the studio which I think is really cool it speaks uh, volumes about the guys that we played with Tyr and Winston and how quickly they sort of not only picked up what was happening happening with the songs formally and harmonically and all that stuff but you know they always wanted to know what the lyrics are and to sort of get a sense also sort of <coughs> emotionally and contextually about what's going on in the music and i think that's probably why things came together as as wonderfully as they did it's awesome yeah, yeah. that's incredible that they're they're so technically skilled that they can take an emotional idea mm -hmm. and turn it into a sound yeah and i think that the interesting process for us, too, was creating an atmosphere in the studio every day during the middle of the day when it's like really light and super hot outside, and then here we are in this sort of dark room with a lot of, as Katie would like to say, vibe, you know. <laughs> and, um, and this was last July, so it was the middle of the summer. Oh yeah, gosh. it was toasty. Yeah. Um, and, and just immediately, I think, in, in a really sort of remarkable way, finding, finding that 
that atmosphere pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it made us all better players on an almost like instantaneous level. Which Why is, really is that? Cool. I, we just really clicked and mm-hmm. everybody just sort of found things. I mean, I've never done an entire record where I only played guitar before. So I was sort of like, well, you play violin too. So that's a lie. But that was after the fact though. That's obviously. True. But yeah, I'd never done that before. So I was really kind of wondering what it was going to feel like to do that. And it turned out to be the easiest thing in the world. So yeah. And then shortly after that is when Tom and Chris started playing with us. So <laughs> the record was kind of transition from, from to a new band. So mm-hmm. we're going to get them on the next record. Great. Yeah, so how long have you guys been performing together as the four of you? Since or, about then. So probably like, well, since August, right? Yeah. We had gone to see... Uh, you guys should say something. <laughs> Chris. Something. Something. I do, uh, you guys wish That's the, the name of the next, of the next song. song. Oh, my God, next song. Oh, snap. We're not yes. going to play that yet. We're talking for more. Yes. We're talking more time. Yeah. Okay, taking more time with the talk. Why have you guys... You're amazing. Why don't you talk more? You're, you're so, so eloquent awesome. in your speech. I didn't want to interrupt your flow. Wow. Yeah. See how respectful Boom. they are? Yeah. I could play it's with these amazing. guys for the rest of my life. They are so respectful. <laughs> well, so similar, similar to this story of sort of Katie going to see the Crystal Radio show with Gabe and sort of having a realization about wanting to work with him Katie and I were at uh, Chase for a Sunday evening performance mm-hmm. to see uh, Kelly Carpenter and her band oh. and it was funny because Chris and Tom were playing with that band and it was just it was a really fantastic performance we were enjoying our, ourselves a lot and I think I may be this may be totally apocryphal at this point but I feel like we were walking home from that show later that night and sort of like weren't talking for a second we we're just sort of enjoying the the outdoor air and then I think we sort of like turned to each other and we're like so let's have Chris and Tom play <laughs> in the band <laughs> and we were both thinking it the whole time and then we just sort of said it and I was like yeah totally I knew I knew I needed you because I got so jealous in the audience you guys sound so yeah. good with Kelly it's nice of you to say thank you mm-hmm. it's nice of you to say and Tom actually played two songs on my last record as well fantastic yeah. well it's true. great to have both of you here oh, thank you is, is there anything anything you want to air anything really important <laughs> <laughs> nothing to air. Okay. Yeah, Tom, what do you want to say? One time I went on DisneyChannel.com and I did not get my parents' permission. Wow. <laughs> What's the statute of limitations? I on feel that? a lot better now. Thank That's you. That's good. Yeah, now Wait. Tucson knows. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you heard All it right. first on 91.3 KX. Yeah. Um, real quick, the show on Friday, the 2nd, yes, did it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been confused about dates and days all week. Um, it's at Club Congress, and just because you mentioned the Crystal Radio show, are you doing anything extra with this performance? Yes, we're having two amazing bands open the show for us. <laughs> Jillian you, and the Giants. Yes, Jillian and the Giants, and she has not been on stage for a while, and I cannot wait to see her get mm-hmm. back on that stage. Um, and then we've got House of Stairs from Phoenix with the amazing, amazing. Holly Pyle and... They're incredible, so you can't miss the openers. Y'all, you have to come see these guys. They're amazing. Yeah, and a year ago, last time we had you on, you were just fangirling out oh, yeah. <laughs> about them. Oh, yeah. yeah, so they, I'm so they glad. They're so good. They're yeah. so they're good. good. They are really good. It's awesome. Yeah. What's your emotional experience of performing these songs? Um, it's amazing because it's different with different people that mm-hmm. I play with because it feels different. The way the things I get out of my body when I play with these guys is so spe- specific to us. It's it's really interesting. Like the emotional content is always there, but the feel is different because mm-hmm. everyone's personalities come into it. So I don't know. I just these guys get me going. Like I get off and hit my head on the microphone because I'm so into it, and I'm like, <laughs> I gotta learn to tame that beast. <laughs> yeah, but bring the beast on. I gotta on Friday. bring the beast, but I gotta not knock myself out. Yeah. I mean, maybe that would be cool. That would be yeah. rock and roll. So how? <laughs> <laughs> just knock a tooth out. <laughs> Very <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> um, so how do people get the album? Is it available everywhere? Yes. So tomorrow it is dropping tomorrow, nice. Sophie. <laughs> and I, my website is launching tomorrow, and it's going to be available only on three platforms. I'm going rogue this year. Dang. Just Bandcamp, CD Baby, and iTunes. Yeah. I'm not going to release it to um, like Spotify or anything. At least not now. I just want to keep it small yeah and like intimate yeah and you do have a strong old-fashioned streak which i really respect because <laughs> i hate I, mean, I don't hate instagram i'm just evolving into it i'm no. definitely an analog person yeah and it's it, there are things that you that are in the positive like you really you said in the article you love the um kind of like the full arc of an album format yes. absolutely yeah 
I dig it. Absolutely. Thank you. Any any last things to talk about to plug that, that we didn't go over? Just that I'll also be doing another release show, but entirely solo oh, on cool. February 24th mm-hmm. at EXO. And Casey Golden is going to be opening that show. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm just going to play everything on guitar and piano. And awesome. I love getting to play solo so people can get a sense of what my tour was like. Yeah. So last set, two yep. songs, three, three songs. I think we have time for three. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll 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 do a big wave okay. if we don't. <laughs> we'll play really fast. Yeah, okay. let's do three. If you come to the show on Friday, you can have Tom's drink tickets. By the way, <laughs> Woo! You. doubt it. <laughs> this is right, right? Sounds correct. Okay, so remember the new way. <laughs> oh yeah. Was late. I recognized your face. You had dirt two cans, keeping you on your feet. Oh, the cage of the time in between, but we're the same. Except the quivering underneath, isn't it something? Isn't it something? Isn't it something? If you like what you see, yeah, I'm not here to play coy with a message delivery. about me Yet they gone tomorrow Why do I'm the wheel Gone tomorrow If you like what you see, I'm not here to play coy, to the message delivery. Even though these times strange would have left of me, yeah. I swear I might try it somewhat distant fever. Wasn't it something? Wasn't it something? Wasn't it something? Wasn't it something? This one's the title track, Sophia's is called Pluto. Story that's pending Where 